In this problem, the angular momentum of a particle relative to a certain point varies with time as L is equal to A plus BT square. In bold letters, uh, these are vectors. L is vector, A is vector and B is vector. Where A and B are certain constant vectors and such that A and B are perpendicular. Find the torque tau vector acting on the particle when the angle between the torque and angular momentum is equal to 45 degree. Now it is given that the angular momentum vector L is equal to A plus vector A plus vector B into T square. We know that torque is defined as rate of change in angular momentum dl by dt. Since A is a constant vector, its differentiation is 0 plus b constant and t square differentiation will be 2t so it is 2t into b so torque at any time t will be 2t into b vector since uh, l is a plus bt square these are two components of uh, angular momentum and these two components must be perpendicular to each other Suppose this direction represents the direction of B vector. Let's say this is B cap. It is the direction. It is the direction of unit vector B. Suppose this direction represents the A cap. So this this component remains constant, and this component has magnitude always equal to A and this component grows with time its magnitude is b t square and with t this will increase suppose at a moment this length is b t square and net angular momentum will be in this direction resultant of these two vectors and in the torque only b vector is coming so torque will be in this direction it is the direction b cap and at some time t this magnitude is 2t into b so this is the direction of torque and the direction of angular momentum at a particular instant t will be like this so this is the direction of l vector and this is the direction of torque vector we are given that at some point of time this angle becomes 45 degree to find torque at that particular instant, we need the time. At what time angle becomes 45 degree? Since angular momentum will also be at an angle 45 degree with this component. And if this angle is 45 degree, that means component of angular momentum in this direction, this component and this component should be equal. So for 45 degree, these two components should be equal a is equal to bt square from here we can find a time t is under root a by b so time is the under root of magnitude of a divided by magnitude of b now we can put time in this equation and find a torque torque is twice this time is under root a by b b vector for calculating time, we can also use another method. We can use a different method to find the time. For t, we can use this method. We know that angle between two vectors, if angle between two vectors is theta, then cos theta is defined as the vectors are suppose a and b, a dot b divided by mod a and modulus of b. Here one vector is uh, angular momentum and one vector is uh, this <coughs> torque. So at one point of time, this angle become 45 degree. The one vector is, suppose A is uh, L vector and B is the torque vector. Let us take the dot product. A dot B will be zero and this B dot B will be magnitude of B square. So this will be which is 2TB BT square 
and divided by the magnitude magnitude of torque 2 TB and magnitude of this will be since these two are perpendicular perpendicular components so magnitude will be a square plus b square t4 and this cos 45 will be 1 by root 2 so this term will get cancelled a square on both the sides to finally solve it b square t4 and suppose that this 2 is coming here it is 2 b square t4 and after squaring and putting that at that side a square b square t4 now b square t4 is equal to a square and from here we can also find t is equal to under root a by b we can put this time in the expression of torque and this is the final answer to this problem